Hiya and welcome to the James Oliver Guitar Channel and this is part 15 of the vinyl albums I love slash artists and albums that inspire me series. People seem to enjoy these little videos and uh, I'll keep making them as long as you keep watching them. So again we've got uh, 20 records by various artists and bands which inspire me. Some of the uh, artists I've shown before, different albums and there's some new ones, all sorts of different stuff. So let's delve in in the first album today, Warren Zevon. This is the Excitable Boy album. Of course, it's got Johnny Strikes Up the Band, Roland the Headless Thompson Gunner, Excitable Boy, Werewolves of London is on this. Absolutely, well, I'm a massive Warren Zevon fan. Superb song right there. And believe it or not, he was um, the Everly Brothers... Musical director for a while, piano player, and there's an Everly's Brothers album in today's list, so there's a bit of a, a tie-in for you. This is the Excite Little Boy album, quirky songs, superb band on, on the record. You know, Leland Scarlet's on bass, Waddy Wachtel, Wachel, Waddy Wachtel on guitar. You know, he's on a lot, lots of records, he is another superb guitar player. So... That's the Warren's Even album, Excitable Boy. Definitely worth checking out that one and, and a lot of the other Warren's Even stuff. I thought we'd go for a bit of ZZ Top. This is the uh, Trez Ombre's album. The second record, I believe. And there's tracks on your leg, Waiting for the Bus, Jesus, Le Jesus Just Left Chicago, The Grange, Billy Gibbons, Dusty Hill and Frank Beard. Now, I always call ZZ Top a proper band because they've been the same lineup for 50 years. You know, you see a lot of bands, you're going to see them, and it's just like the original singer with all different people, etc. ZZ Top are the real deal, you know, proper band. And this is a bluesy album, and Billy Gibbons is playing his burst. And real guitar tone on this, great songs, great bands. So that's the Trez Ombre's album by uh, ZZ Top. Bit of Welsh rock. This is a man band, all's well, it ends well. This is the album they made when they decided to call it a day. And of course, about five years later, they were back with the Live at the Marquee album, which which is uh, come out originally as Friday the 13th, and then it was brought out as Live at the Marquee later on, on CD and vinyl. But uh, this is a really cool record. It's a really nice version, let the good times roll on it. Uh, Deke's Ride in the View, and Deke's Hard Way to Live. Romaine, Spunk Rock. This is a lineup with John McKenzie on bass and uh, Phil Ryan on piano. Terry on drums and, of course, De Deacon Mickey. And, th and, th and this LP come with a Man Family Tree book insert. I've, I've got two copies and one has it and one has not This is the one that doesn't. And uh, it's a really cool history of man. My favourite Welsh band, I'd say. Yeah. So that's all's well today as well, and for the collectors, it is signed by Deke on the front. Bit of Crosby, Stills and Nash. This is a four-way street live. Crosby, Stills and Nash and Young, sorry. And there's some killer stuff on this. Cowgirl in the Sand is on it, plus the classic uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash. Songs and Crosby, I love Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. I love Crosby, Stills and Nash. Stephen Stills, David Crosby and Graham Nash and Neil Young solo albums are all worth checking out. And uh, they featured heavily on my Vinyls That Inspired Me series. And uh, I'm yet to show a CSNY album. I'm also going to show Deja Vu, but I decided to go for Four Way Street Life. So there we are. There's Neil Young on the back with his White Falcon. It's a cool cover too. Of course, you know, with the collecting of the vinyl, you get the great music. Plus, you get the artwork. And this is a bit of a wild card. So, the George Formby album. I'm the ukulele man. George Formby with his ukulele and orchestra. Now, it's a funny thing with George Formby. I'm quite a big watcher of documentaries. I like music documentaries and true crime documentaries, etc., etc. And Frank Skinner. Did a, did a documentary on George Formby and the, and the ukulele in general. And I just thought it was brilliant. And there was a guy on there whose name I can't remember. And for his uh, university uh, thesis, I believe, he did 
George Formby's ukulele solos and George Formby was an incredible ukulele player and I mean the the, the uh, songs are really funny as well like leaning on a lamppost you know and the, and, and the window cleaner and I'm the ukulele man with my little stick of Blackpool rock they're, they're obviously quite uh, these songs are innuendos etc but they're really fun songs and it's a fun listen and I'm not embarrassed to admit that I do like George Formby so I thought the day I'd show a George Formby record so there you are. I think I'll buy a banjo ukulele. Bit the JJ Kale up next. This is a Naturally album. Of course, Call Me The Breeze is on this. And uh, Magnolia. Crazy Mama, Crying Eyes. Carl Himmel on drums. Tim Drummond on drums. Of course, they've all got a strong connection with Neil Young. You know, it's uh, it's it's funny. You know, all, all, it's all it's all connected and connected in a way. And I mean, I like JJ Kale. Got a great feel. You know, his groove is is great. You got that big old harmony guitar with no no back in it. Uh, re really cool. And I also think that's one of the great covers of all time. You know, with with a with a raccoon on the front, like and a dog. So that's JJ Kale. Sadly, no longer with us, like quite a few of the people who I've been showing. But nevertheless, absolutely superb music and uh, one of my favourite J.J. Kale albums. For the Raikuda next, this is Chicken Skin Music. Quite possibly my favourite Raikuda album. There's a great songs on you, like uh, the, the um, Jim Reeves song, He'll Have to Go. Smack Dab in the Middle, Stand By Me. Lead Belly's Goodnight Irene. I got mine, Bourgeois Blues. I seen Ry Kuda actually a year ago. No, sorry, two years ago. This week in London. And it was the greatest concert I ever saw. Absolutely blew me away. It inspired me no end. And that's how I bought the Kuda Caster, etc. And uh, this is one of my favourite Ry Kuda albums again. An interesting cover. A classic, which I haven't shown yet before. Johnny Cash Live in Folsom Prison. I'm a huge Cash fan. Folsom Prison, Cocaine Blues, Orange Boston Special, 25 Minutes to Go, Dirty Old Egg, Second Dog, Jackson with June Carter, I Got Stripes, a wonderful version of Green Green Grass of Home, Luther Perkins on guitar, iconic. I sort of go back and forth with the Cash stuff, that sometimes I'm... Into San, the, the live in San Quentin, which I show a few weeks ago, and then sometimes I just always go back to this because it's one of my uh, all time favourite records. And I mean, look at that cover. It's Johnny Cash live at False Prison. Rock Pile. Nick Lowe, Billy Bremner, Dave Evans, and Terry Williams. This is one of the uh, all time classic uh, 70s rock and roll albums, in my opinion, and it comes with a free EP, and on the EP is quite a few Everly Brothers covers. They do Poor Jenny. Except, uh, I mean, what's on your heart? Teacher, teacher. When I write the book. Put it that fast thing one more time. I mean, even though Rock Pile only made one album, if you buy a Dave Edmonds album or a Nick Lowe album or a Billy Bremner album, they're all playing on each other's records. And, you know, they all went on to have superb careers playing with other people and doing their own solo projects, etc. But this is definitely worth checking out. This is the uh, one and only official Rock Pile album, which is called Rock Pile. Cool cover, too. I, I like the clock on the on the old for rock pile. Now, I mean, people who know me well will know I'm not a big lover of funk for some reason. But this is Johnny Guitar Watson, who I've shown before. And this is the uh, re the uh, Real Mother Foyer album, which is quite funky. But how can you not like Johnny Guitar Watson? His stuff is infectious. Wonderful guitar playing, great songs. Just, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing bad you can say, in my opinion, about Johnny Guitar Watson. Of course, there's tracks on like Real Mother For You, The Real Deal, Lover Jones. And again, an interesting cover. I mean, 99.9% .9 of these albums, you could just stick them on your wall and they're just a, just a talking point for art. As well, great music. I do prefer, you know, him in the, when, when he recorded for, for Federal and King and he was doing stuff like Cutting In and Space Guitar. He was young John Watson when he recorded Space Guitar. 
But yeah, Johnny Guitar Watson. Johnny Bond and his famous Hot Rodders. This is on the London Star Day label. Of course, Star Day was a, is a famous uh, rockabilly sort of rock and roll label from the States. And London brought them out over here. And of course, Johnny Bond does Hot Rod Lincoln. You know, he does Sidecar Cycle. Junior Jones from Fastback. He does the wreck of all 97, which of course Johnny Cash does. And it's great old hot rod car songs, sort of fast, country, rockabilly, twangy guitars. You know, think Bill Kirchin, and I think he was a fan of Johnny Bond. So you are these Johnny Bond and his hot rodders. Excellent stuff. And now an LP in the same sort of vein, also on the Star Day London label. This is Fire on the Strings. And this is... um sort of bluegrass and country in instrumentals by Flat and Scruggs, Jim and Jesse, String Bean, the Stanley Brothers, all sort of people like that. And uh, this come out on the London label. And there's some wonderful bluegrass and country on this. Instrumentals, of course, some of the finest banjo, fiddle playing, flat pick guitar playing you'll ever hear. And I must seek out more of this Star Day London stuff. i got a few Star Day 45s. And when I do my next um, Star Day, well, when I do my next 45 video, I might do a 45 video on the Star Day label. So there you are, there's Fire on the Strings. I've shown Lonnie Mac before, but the last album I showed was a later Lonnie Mac album. And this is The Wham of That Memphis Man. This is a 1967 reissue of the earlier album on the President label, and it's got tracks on it like Wham, The Bounce. Memphis, Susie Q, Down in the Dumps. I love the cover. I love that he's playing that 58 Flying V. That's with an absolute fortune now. I wonder where that 58 Flying V is. There's not many Corona Flying Vs about. But there they are on the back, look all in their suits. And Lonnie Mac is a real cool guitar player and, and, and underrated. If you want to watch some cool Lonnie Mac, not just the early stuff, there's a concept with Albert Collins and Roy Buchanan at Carnegie Hall, which is uh, definitely worth watching on YouTube. This is a bit of a, this is a new vinyl, actually. This is High Noon, a 50-year re retrospective of NRBQ, the New Rhythm and Blues Quartet, one of my all-time favourite bands, Big Al Anderson, and Joey Stampanado, Tommy Ardolino, and of course Terry Adams, who's in every lineup of the band. And this is all sorts of stuff it takes you up to the early stuff, like Flatfoot Floozy, off the first album, and then goes to like the mid 70s stuff of riding in my car and me and the boys the side free sort of goes to the 80s and 90s with like wacky tobacco and beverly and then side four then because i are still going today some of the uh newer stuff like let go or fighting back what i love so much about the band is you can listen to an nrbq album and one minute you got rockabilly country blues swing Jazz, then they'll do a doo-wop number, a ballad number. And I just love the variety of the band. And I love the feel of Tommy and Joey as a, as a, as a rhythm section. And I just think they're a wonderful band that everybody should know about. So there's some... Up next, Flaco Jimenez. Right, cool, as accordion player. This is a great album of, of uh, Flaco's sort of solo stuff. You know, sort of instrumentals and songs. In the Texas style, of course, he was in the Texas Tornadoes with Doug Sam. And uh, this is great party music, so there's a bit of Flacco uh, Jimenez. Up next, Pink Floyd. People know how much I like Pink Floyd, and this is Pulse. Of course, the live album from around 94. Roger Waters isn't in the band at this point, but nevertheless, Gilmore, Richard Wright, and uh, Nick Mason. Shine on your crazy diamond coming back to life, learning to fly, comfort comfortably numb. There's a great uh, version of the uh, Sid Barrett song Astrid Domini on this as well, and, and this is a first press for the vinyl collectors. I know there's a couple of vinyl collectors like know the presses who watch the channel. So yeah, there's Pink Floyd's uh, Pulse, big every old box set that. Up next, this is the Everly Brothers, the reunion concert. This is the uh, Albert Hall London concert. The one that Albert Lee played on and become an Everly brother. And I mean, they, they they just do all the hits on this. Bye Bye Love, So Sad, Bird Dog. 
Kathy's clown. You know, it's, this is from the this is, this is from the eighties, and uh, they hadn't spoken for years, and and they got back together, and they, and, and they made this. And for for any Everly Brothers fan, it's definitely worth checking out. But the Tom Petty. This is the uh, let let me up, album I've had enough. This is from like uh, the the um, the uh, mid eighty. Oh, it's from it's from eighty seven, so the middle late eighties. Songs on you like "Jamming Me," which is a personal favorite of mine. "Let Me Up" is on this classic uh, Tom. Do you know the the the, the classic Tom Petty lineup? And Mike Campbell's on guitar. Great songs. It's more of a lesser known album. Probably my favorite Tom Petty album though is "Echo," which I currently don't own on vinyl, but I will be getting "Echo." But I wanted to show this because I like the song "Jamming Me" so much. A bit of Tom Petty. A bit of blues. More Blue Horizon. I talk about Blue Horizon a lot. And of course, this is Johnny Shines. And Johnny Shines, you know, he, he lived longer than a lot of them. And there's some uh, footage of Johnny Shines, you can see, right up to the 80s. And there's stuff on here like uh, Solid Gold from Dark Till Dawn, Pipeline Blues, Black Panther, Walter, Walter Shaky Horton on harmonica. Willie Dixon on bass, Otis Spann on piano, Clifton James on drums. It's an all-star lineup. It's from the uh, Blue Horizon Complete series of Blues Masters. This is Volume Seven, and it's Johnny Shines. Of course, I don't know if he was if if Robert Johnson was his steps father, maybe. Or oh, this there's a Robert Johnson connection with Johnny Shines, which I'm not a hundred percent sure about. But if you know. Please comment below as always, because I don't know everything and I do get the odd thing wrong, like, as we all do. So if you need to correct me on this Johnny Shines connection, please do. But if you don't know Johnny Shines, obviously check out Johnny Shines. And last but not least, Peter Green. Peter Green Super Mac, then play on. This is a wonderful record. Coming your way, Rattlesnake Shake is on this, like crying. Showbiz blues. It's a it's a little bit more experimental than the earlier albums, but it's still got that deep rootsy bass to it. And of course Peter Green, Jeremy Spencer and Danny Kerwin. One of the greatest guitar trios of all time. So yeah, that's them play on. And there we have it. There's another 20 records that I like and inspire me. I hope you enjoyed this series. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your support and uh, the channel is growing. And uh, I'll see you all soon for another video. Cheers.